Hi, this is the video introducing the Rapid 85-1706 power supply. It's a 10 amp, 0 to 30 volt, triple output, digital DC regulated power supply. Now, this particular unit has a output of 10 amps on the main outputs here. And they obviously go from 0 volts to 30 volts DC. We also have half an amp on the 5 volt here as well as half an amp on the 12 volt. Now, the output here is 500 milliamps maximum. The unit has a separate voltmeter and an amp meter. You can also select the voltage here and your current cutoff here as well. Now, and current cutoff that I've seen, oh, this is showing zero volts at the moment, but the current cutoff doesn't adjust anything on screen. I'll do it this way. Okay. Now that won't do anything until you have a load on your system. Now if we were putting the voltage up, you'll see that the voltage increases. And because of the the current shunt that they're using to measure, we're going to get a little bit of a current consumption on there as well. Now, just as an example, this is outputting 31.9 volts. The 30 volts is a theoretical maximum that you should be running these at, but this one's got an extra couple of volts on the top. But if I look to turn the current down, you will see when I get down to about near enough the bottom, for that is the bottom there, current limit comes on and it starts crawling down the the voltage. It's you can see that's beginning to come down slowly at the bottom end. If I turn that back up, see, instantly straight back up to your applied voltage. Now when the system switched on, you do have 12 volts, ground, ground and 5 volts. These are ideal if you've got uh, microcontroller based projects that require 5 volts. You're not having to worry about hooking any extra wires up. But as far as wiring goes, you do have multiple choices as far as the the wire type goes. You can use alligator clip style. It's these things here. And they clip in here. Though I generally find that sometimes the, the connection is not very stable with these as the the recess on these is probably like five millimeters or so so you would use what they call banana jacks which are these push in type now these banana jacks have a small spring on here so that when you do push it in it makes a nice tight connection and then you would use the the other end of the the wire to hook up to whatever you you're trying to power. Now remember, always turn the power off before you plug cables in or pull them out. It just says any accidents are shorten the the power supply down. Well, the, the power supply luckily does have a an over current control, so that if you uh, do pull any um, you know, pull a short circuit on it. It is protected, you're not going to blow the power supply, it just cuts off the, the voltage. Now the 5 volt and 12 volt use what commonly known as speaker type connections, as in you use a wire with a bare end on it, push the connection down, put the wire into the hole, make sure it makes a connection. I generally give them a little tug just to make sure that they're actually connected in. And then you do the same for your ground wire. Hook up your project at the other end and after that turn the power on. As with most bench power supplies or all bench power supplies, it's always good practice with nothing connected to set your voltage. So you'd switch it on, say I'm needing um, 24 volts. You would adjust down to 24 volts. There we go, that's 24.2, close enough at the moment. And then you would switch your power supply off 
hook up your outputs, then switch it back on again. Okay, and that concludes our introduction to the Rapid 85-1706 power supply. Thanks for watching.